Hi everyone, Christy from the Hypothesis team here, and today I want to talk about how you can engage your students with Hypothesis social annotation without AI. I know there are a lot of perspectives out there on when it could be appropriate for students to use AI, but presumably you don't want your students using AI in every single situation or assignment in your courses. With social annotation, one of the key issues here is to better prompt our students in their annotation instructions so that when they read, we encourage more metacognition or asking the students to reflect on their own thinking process as they're completing that reading and use that to annotate. So how can we do that? Instead of asking our students to summarize the key ideas or answer fact-based questions while they read, it can be helpful to ask them to practice higher order thinking skills as they read. And their annotations can focus on asking questions and making connections within the text or across text or ideas. So some ideas include making connections to other parts of the reading, other readings or concepts within the course, uh, how they can apply these concepts to their own experiences, or how they could even apply the concepts in upcoming problem sets, essays, or assignments in the course. They could make connections to their own life experiences, or to things they've learned in other courses as well. It could be helpful in some annotations to have students add definitions to words that they don't know or paraphrase technical language, but full credit for annotations should really rely on some combination of these things because they might turn to AI to help them through those more difficult pieces of the text. Really, it could be most beneficial for student retention and comprehension to give them credit for annotations that are not just basic, but also add to the conversation that you're having in the margins of the text. So how can we get our students to focus on asking questions and making connections? Find a sample prompt that you can use in your own course by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks and see you next time.